You know about My Name is Mayo. I know about My Name is Mayo. Probably the easiest platinum I've heard of. But today we're running through five platinums that I have that are so easy that I was ashamed of them. These platinums are so easy that it just shouldn't count. Also, there's a special announcement at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Number one on the list is going to be Life is Strange. And this was a very easy platinum, although it does have 61 trophies. These are all extremely easy. If you're unfamiliar with this game, it's basically like this story game where you control this kid, this girl, she's like a preteen or something, and you just walk around and do random stuff. Like, I don't know, honestly, this game, like for me, it's boring, but like I got this because it was an easy platinum. All you do is follow a guide. According to PSN profiles, this platinum will take you 10 hours. Number two on the list is this game called Rhyme. It has only 32 trophies, and I say it's similar to Life and Strange in a way, but also different. This was once a free game, but it's now $30. And let's just take a look at the trailer here. If you want to see what it's like a little bit about just like this exploration game you just walk around and do stuff I, I don't even get what the point of these games are i don't find them fun to be honest if they're easy platinums and they take me a little bit amount of time i i, I went for them so hey man that's why i say i'm ashamed of them low key at the number three spot i'm not gonna lie i think this game is absolute garbage it's called day of the tentacle remastered this has 58 trophies but they're very easy. Honestly, this could be at the number four spot and Rhyme could be at the number three spot, but I mean, I guess it's interchangeable. But yeah, this is another one of those games where it's just super easy. You just have to follow a guide. I think this game was once free as well, but now it's $15. So if you're willing to pay $15 for a platinum that's really easy, you can get it. I mean, let's take a look at the trailer. I mean, this stuff is kind of weird. Apparently there's a ton of missable trophies, but as long as you're following that guide, then you're not gonna miss any. Yeah, bro, as you can see, this stuff is kind of weird, man. I don't know, man, like this, this was not for me, this game, but it was an easy platinum, so hey, why not? Apparently this will take you six hours and it's a two out of 10 platinum difficulty. I don't know how I feel about two out of 10. I think it's one out of 10, but hey, it's six hours. That's very short. At the number two spot, I have Game of Thrones. Now this was a Telltale game and I don't know, I couldn't find it on the PlayStation store for some reason, but I'm also gonna link this game up with the Batman Telltale as well. Here it is right here. And Batman actually has fewer trophies than Game of Thrones does. I'm putting both of these together because they're both Telltale. And what you, if you don't know what Telltale is basically, it just like it's like a story mode and you just press response to like press a certain button for a certain response and once you get to the end of the game you get a platinum trophy it's as simple as that here are some screenshots of the game this is what they generally look like like uh they look like these borderlands type i mean i, I think borderlands does have a telltale but you just press x or triangle or circle or square for responses and you get through the game it doesn't matter what responses you choose you get an easy platinum once you finish it at the number one spot is the game i mentioned right off the start of this video my name is mayo so this has 51 trophies and if you don't know what this is it's like a one dollar platinum and all you have to do is spam x and you get platinum so here it is in the playstation store my name is mayo too what the heck another Bro, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I might have to go for this one, bro. My name is Mayo 2. I'm sure it's like the same stuff. Basically, all you do is you like, there's this finger, right? And then you tap, you press X to tap on the jar of mayonnaise, and that's it. Here comes the touching story of a mayo jar. What the heck? Well, struggling with identity issues. Man's got a, a wig on based on real life gameplay experience. Yeah, and you just tap X, and the, there's a counter at the top right which shows how many times you've tapped X. And once you're done, like with all the trophies, you get a platinum and it's like, it takes probably an hour or less for this. You just spam X and if you have a fast finger, I guess you get it done really quick. For the special announcement really quick, so I've been working on getting platinum on Hollow Knight. And if you don't know, this game is extremely difficult and probably one of the hardest platinums that exists. So I'm working on this video. It's been a while that I've been working on it and I'm probably gonna be working on it for a, a little bit more, so. Just be patient. I want this to be my next video, but I'm not sure if it will be. It just depends on how fast I can get this because it's extremely difficult. I only need nine more trophies, but the nine trophies that I need are so hard that it's not something that I can just get in one day or maybe even two days. I don't know. I have to practice a lot, but I'm excited for it to be done. So if you guys are looking forward to that, I mean, I guess just stay tuned. In the meantime, you can watch this video about five platinum trophies so hard that I wanted to cry.